Hi, Sissy. How are Hi. you? Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Sorry. Good evening. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Hello, Daniel. <laughs> I, I think there is a, a little bit of an audio problem, Daniel. Maybe you can you can regulate it. Okay, good. Yeah, uh, uh, Cecilia. Ah, perfect. There you go. Excellent. Thanks, Daniel. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, Ceci, the the reason why we say good evening is because when we say good night, is basically we're saying bye, right? So when you say good night, normally you're saying bye to the person, yeah? So um, you, you say good night when you're going to go to bed or when it's the nighttime and you're going to say bye to somebody, maybe you are visiting them in their house and you say, okay, good night and then you leave to your house, right? So when we say hi to somebody in the nighttime, okay. uh, we, we do it, we say good evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but- Okay, thank you, Chef. You're welcome, <laughs> Sissy. Okay. Thanks. Um, let me see, Carmen, how are you, Carmen? Good evening, teacher, I'm fine. Good, and good. I'm happy to hear that. Excellent. How was your day today? <laughs> it was busy. It was a busy day. Okay. Yeah, busy day. But you don't work on in the uh, on Saturdays, right? No, no. Okay. Good. Only Monday to Friday. Okay, good. Excellent. That way you will be able to rest all of all of tomorrow and, and, and Sunday, right? <laughs> yes. Good, good. Hi, Barbara. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good, 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 excellent. Uh, we missed you these days. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I haven't been able to connect, but here I am. <laughs> okay, good. And we're happy that you're here today. Yeah. How was your week, oh, Barbara? Uh, kind of busy. Uh, I'm working from home. So <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, uh -huh. there are always um, something to do. <laughs> yeah, I understand. So you work from home right now? Yes, yes, remotely. Oh, good, okay. But I, I totally understand, I understand completely, trust me, that, you know, even if you are at home, well, there's just so much to do after after work. Yes, I, I, I totally get it. But we're happy that you're with us today. Thank good. you very much. Yeah, um, let's see, well, we're gonna give uh, everybody about two more minutes there to connect, hopefully. Okay, um, I, in the meantime, while we're waiting for the others to connect, um, I wanted to ask you, everybody received my, um, my messages, the exercises that I wanted you to do? Yes? Yes, I received, but I couldn't check the shirt. Okay, you received it, but you couldn't check it. Okay, I see. All right. Um, anybody have any problems with the exercises? Was it difficult? Were they unclear, the instructions? No? It's okay? Let me check. No, let me check. Let me check. In my case, teacher, mm -hmm. I I saw, but my phone is charging. Is charging right now. 
and I can't complete. Uh, it's charging. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, I see. So you, you were not able to complete it because it was charging. Yes. Okay. I'm not completed. Okay, I understand. Okay. Anybody have anybody um, that had a little bit of problems doing the exercises? Yes, in my case, I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't check, but I. <laughs> you checked it, but you couldn't do it because you, you didn't have time. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay, I understand. I understand. Um, okay, what we're going to do. Um, okay, I'm going to, we're going to start. Well, who, who did the exercises? Let's start with that. Who did the exercises? I think it'll be easier if I ask that way. Anybody that did do the exercises? No? Nobody did the exercises? Uh, me teacher, uh, oh, oh, I'm finishing. Barbara, you did the exercises? Yes, uh, right now I'm doing it, okay. but I almost done. Okay, okay, no problem, excellent. Hi, Grace, good to see you. Good evening, teacher. How Hi, are you? Fine, and you? Good. I'm very good. Um, did you get the exercises that I sent in, in the group? The no, I haven't. <laughs> no, I've been working uh, yeah, late in the afternoon, so I, I saw them and, and I try also to do the, the exercise in the platform, yeah. but um, the ones you sent, I, I couldn't uh, do it yet. Okay, okay, no problem, I understand. Um, okay, it's okay. Uh, what we're gonna do is, um, what I'll do then, since um, the majority of you uh, didn't have a chance to do the exercises, what I'm going to do is um, probably, let, let's, how about if we do the exercises right now in class, okay? That way maybe it will be easier for you to, to do them, sounds good? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. The idea here is to be able to practice with the gerunds and infinitive phrases that we have been working on. Okay. So um, let me share this with you. Okay, can everybody see that? Yes. 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 Okay, good, excellent. Yes. So this is the event English 2. This is day number three. It's Friday, September 25th, 2020, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so some of the exercises that I sent you uh, were these ones. Uh, I asked you to complete the sentences uh, using the instructions that say that are in parentheses, okay? So the sentences will tell you if you have to, um, if you have to write it in the, with a gerund phrase or an infinitive phrase, okay? So we have seven sentences here. The first one says, can everybody see that? Can everybody see that, yes? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so the first one says, I really enjoy, and it says here in parentheses to put the gerund phrase. Okay, so for example, you can say, I'll give you an example. For me, I really enjoy dancing salsa. Okay, so that's a gerund phrase because it's not just saying I enjoy salsa. Sorry, I enjoy salsa would be uh, just a noun. Uh, 
And if I say I enjoy dancing, it's just a gerund. But if I put together dancing salsa, then it becomes a gerund phrase. Okay? And the second one says, my mom wants, and then we have the infinitive phrase. So we have to say, for example, my mom wants to travel to Europe. Okay? Now, it's not just my mom wants to travel. It's not just the infinitive, but it's travel to Europe. So that makes it a more specific. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Okay, so remember, it's not just putting yes. the gerund or the infinitive, it's a phrase that we want. Okay, so go ahead and complete those exercises in your notebook. <coughs> And if you guys have any questions, you can ask me as well, right? So if you, while you are, are making the, the sentences, if you want to ask me if it's a, if it is a gerund or an infinitive phrase, you can go ahead and ask me. If you want to say in number three, yeah. Uh, learning, learn cooking or learning cooking is activity I want to take up one of these days. Okay, that's good. I, how could it be? The correct form. Actually, yeah, that's learn very cooking. curious. No. You'd actually yeah. have to say learning to cook. Okay, learning to cook is an activity. Okay. Oh, guys, try to make this as real as possible. Okay, so don't just, um, you know, don't just put whatever, try to make it as, as, um, as representative of your life as possible. Okay, so I really enjoy, like for example, I said dance and salsa, and that's true. I really enjoy dance and salsa, one of my favorite activities, right? So, but don't put don't put dance and salsa if you don't like to dance salsa, right? So something that's true for you. Okay. Well, for me, it, <laughs> I only can do. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Whatever you, whatever, like I said, whatever, um, whatever is true for you. You don't, there's no restriction there. It's just whatever you try to make it um, that really is about you as a, that is true for your life. Hi, Sadie. Nope. 
Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, and you? Good, good. I'm here. We're, what we're doing here, um, some people were not able to, um, to see the exercises, or better said, to do the exercises that I sent um, in the group. I don't know, did you have an opportunity? Really, no. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So right now, what we're doing is, uh, for the people that didn't have opportunity to do it um, before, we're going to be doing right now in class. All you're going to do is uh, complete these sentences. You can write them in your notebook. And like I said, in the there's in parentheses we have the part that we want to uh, we want to complete with. So we can put a gerund phrase or an infinitive phrase. For example, I gave an example for number one, I really enjoy dancing salsa. So it has to be a gerund phrase. So I can't just say I really enjoy dancing because dancing is just a gerund. But if I say I really enjoy dancing salsa, or I can say I really enjoy, enjoy dancing at a club, for example, that makes it a gerund phrase. Right, so it, it's very, it makes it more specific. Okay, so you can go ahead, uh, Selena, and write down anything that comes to your mind, but try to make it real. Try to make it true about you, okay? Okay, thank you. Any questions you guys want to ask? Okay, about in three more minutes, or do you need more time? Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I, I like that even better. The rest of you, do you think you can finish in three minutes? Okay, two more minutes. Please, yes. Pardon me? Two more minutes. Yeah, two more minutes. Please, yes. Yes, absolutely, don't worry, don't worry. Two minutes, you, you got two more minutes. 
Do we know anything about the other students? Have you guys um, had any contact with your other classmates? No? Because okay. uh, anybody, does anybody know anything about um, Josue, I think it is? Yeah, Jose, I haven't seen him for a while. Okay, that's three minutes. How are you guys doing? Are we ready? Yes, we are. Yeah? Anybody need more time? Okay. Okay. So we have somebody new here. Uh, we have, is that um, Nuvia Araceli? Porque, uh, so yo te puedo decir oraciones, pero recuerda que... Ay. Nuvia? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I am not bad, thank you, and you? Good, I'm pretty good. Thanks, Nubia. It's good to to um, to meet you, well, at least be able to see that you are in class today. <laughs> How was your week? Uh, I am very... Very busy. Busy. Ah, you busy. have a busy week. Yeah, I yes. can imagine. Okay. But I'm very happy that you're with us today, Nubia. So right now we yes. are just uh, writing down these sentences, uh, completing them with infinitive or gerund phrases. I don't know if you have the opportunity, Nubia, to look at the uh, videos from the past classes. Um, and they have been able to um, explain a little bit about what are infinitive and gerund phrases, right? So hopefully if you haven't had the opportunity, you can go and check them out. Okay, guys, what we're going to do, I'm going to stop sharing. Is everybody ready now? Oh, actually, no, no, no. Hold on. Before I, I stop sharing, um, I need you to see this because what I want you to do is the following. I'm going to be putting you into um, breakout rooms to work there with, um, with a, a group. And what you're going to do is you're going to be sharing these sentences with your partner. So, but I don't want you to limit yourself to just say, I really enjoy dancing salsa. I really enjoy uh, playing soccer. I really enjoy watching TV. Next, number two. No, I don't want you to do that. What I want you to do is actually make it like a conversation. How are you going to make it with like a conversation? Just like in, in a regular everyday uh, conversation, there is questions and answers. So what you're going to do is you're going to make these sentences into a question. For example, imagine that, um, that Josue and Gracia are with me in my group. She, they, they are both in my group. So I'm going to say, so um, Gracia, uh, 
I can change the sentence, I can say it. What do you really enjoy doing? Or what do you really enjoy? And then Gracia would say, I really enjoy blah, 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 right? Okay. And then Gracia would also ask, if she can ask, um, Jose, Jose, what about you? What do you really enjoy? And then Jose would answer, okay? So does that make sense what you're going to be doing? You're going to change these sentences to questions so that you are sound more natural, like it's a conversation. Like this one, for example, we could say, uh, what does your mom want? Or in this one, what is an activity that you want to take up one of these days? Or what is important when studying a foreign language? Or this one, um, what, what should you do if you want to avoid getting sick from COVID? What should you do? Or for example, this one, you can say, um, what can be harder than people expect? Or what, what do you think about that? What, do you, what, what can be harder than you expect, right? In this one, for example, um, what were their instructions, right? So basically, on all of them, you're going to be asking the what, okay? What this, what do you want, what, blah, 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 okay? So the idea is here to make conversation. Are the instructions clear? Yep. Yeah? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so right yes. now I'm going to divide you guys into groups. Um, let me see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine people. Perfect, so I'm gonna uh, divide you guys into groups of three. It'll probably be the best way to do this. Um, okay, oh, and by the way guys, you're gonna have, I'm gonna give you seven minutes, okay? Seven minutes to work together. Let's see. Seven minutes. And starting now. Nubia, do you have any questions? Are you having any problems joining the, the breakout room? Nubia? Okay. Yes. <laughs> 
but for that I play happy football. Yeah, <laughs> if you are that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we we move to the number two, which is your yeah. sentence. No, we ask Araceli. Araceli. Hi. Oh, Nubia. Ah, yes, I don't see them. I didn't see them. <laughs> okay, what about the, the classmate? The next, Nubia. Hi, how are Nubia. you today? Fine. 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 Uh, Good. The question is, what do you enjoy? Nubia, tell us about what do you enjoy? I am enjoying travel. <laughs> travel too much? Yes. Really? Travel to yes. where? Travel to where? Yes, around the world. <laughs> around the world. Oh, dude. Um, you have a lot of money to only, travel around the world. Uh, or only in the Salvador is beautiful. Only in Salvador. Uh, in the in the country, uh, have very uh, beautiful places. Okay. What what? What do you know? What places do you know? What places do you visit? Uh, for example, <laughs> Suchitoto. Really? El Tunco. Tunco Beach? Yes. <laughs> oh, good. Excellent. Yes. Cuatepeque Lake is beautiful. Yes, that's right. Nubia, I just wanted to make a little observation, if if I if I may. Um, very very good. Um, I liked what what you talked, what you told Jose. Just be careful. It's, he um, when you say, for example, I enjoy. You have to after enjoy, you would have to use a gerund a gerund phrase. Um, so you have to say, I enjoy traveling. Okay. So I enjoy, not just I enjoy travel, it'd be I enjoy traveling around the world, okay? So you, the gerund means that you have to put the ing for it, okay? And then, uh, yeah, put just the ing form. And the infinitive phrase means that you put the two at the beginning, okay? All right, but very good, excellent. Okay, all right, any questions that you guys have? Oh, no question. Okay. No. All right. Okay. So if you guys need any help, just you can, you can um, just call for me. Okay. See you guys in okay. a bit. Okay. Okay, girls. The the two, number two. What about? Que se me hizo. Basic things, but <laughs> if you eat every day, <laughs> you get bored. <laughs> That's why I want to learn. Is there something special you want to learn to cook? Like. So that went by very quickly, huh? Okay, excellent. All right, guys. Um, so um, what did you guys think? Did, did you have a um, chance there to discuss the sentences, ask the questions? Yes, no? 
Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. The number six. Okay. I'm not sure, but but I I write not following rules can be harder than people expect. Is it correct? Yeah. Absolutely, that's wonderful. Not following rules. That's per that's perfect because follow the ing form or the gerund form is following, right? So you have to, to make it a phrase, yes. you have to say following what? Right? In that case, following rules. So, rules. perfect. Oh, okay. Perfect, Carmen. Thank Excellent. you. Okay, very good. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to just quickly check um, how you guys are doing. If you understood this, so I'm just going to ask a few people. I'm going to choose. Um, let me see. Let me see. Mm, let's see. Um, okay. I'm going to choose there. Uh, let's have Veronica. Veronica, what do you really enjoy doing? Mm, I really enjoy dancing. Dancing all kind of music. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Excellent. Yes. Dancing all kinds of music, right? So um, not just dancing, yeah. but dancing all kinds of music. So it makes it more specific. Okay, good. Excellent. Uh, Barbara, what does your mom want? My mom wants to spend holidays at the beach. Good. Excellent. Your mom wants to spend holidays at the beach. Sounds good. Very good. Okay. All right. Spend, uh, so once, okay, sorry. Could you repeat that, Barbara, uh, Barbara for a moment? My mom wants? Uh, my mom wants to spend holidays at the beach. Okay, good. Excellent. I just wanted to check that you got it. Very good. Wants to spend. <laughs> okay. We have the infinitive. Beautiful. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, number three, Jesus. Um, what is an activity that you want to take up one of these days? Playing the piano is an activity I want to take one of these days. Excellent. Very good, Jesus. Um, okay, very good. Playing the piano. Excellent. Okay, number four. Um, let me see, let me see. Nuvia. Uh, what is important when studying a foreign language? What do you think, Nubia? Speaking. Okay, good. Speaking what? Speaking every day, speaking fluently, speaking... Uh -huh. Correct pronunciation. Uh, speaking fluency and, and practice. Uh, speaking every day. Okay. So speaking fluently, fluently, and practicing every day. You said yes. Is that correct, Nuria? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. So we have is uh, speaking fluently, right? There's uh, the the adjective, sorry, the um, the gerund phrase, and practicing. That would be the gerund. Practicing every day. That is um, that creates a gerund phrase. Very good. Okay. Next we have. Let me hear number five from Grace. What is important if you want to avoid getting sick from COVID? I think it's important to wash your hands frequently um, if we want to avoid getting sick from COVID and also um, could be um, to use always <laughs> the mask. Hey, okay, very good. It's important to wash your hands and to use uh, face mask. Mm -hmm. Face mask. Yeah, very, very good. Excellent, Grace. Okay, number six. Um, let me see, Veronica. 
what can be harder than people expect? Uh, I didn't do that, but let me see. They're not, uh, not saying, not saying gossip can be harder than people expect. No, or, or yes, I'm not sure. Okay, all right, not to um, gossip. Maybe it yes. is. Yeah, not to, not to gossip or um, to, yeah, not to gossip or, um, not to gossip about people. Okay. Yes. Okay. Or not. Okay. Well, actually, in this case, no, sorry. In this case, no, it wouldn't be um, not to gossip because you notice we had to make a gerund phrase. So it'd be saying not gossiping. Not gossiping. Okay. Not, not gossiping. Yeah. About people, not gossiping or not saying um or not repeating a gossip or repeating a gossip because that's also hard right it's not just yeah. saying it, but repeating it right you hear it and you you want to say it again right okay good excellent Veronica. okay and the last one let's see um let's see let's see who i haven't heard from uh, daniel I think yes. you haven't given me one. Okay, uh, what were their instructions, Daniel? The instruction were not to clear for the exam. Their instructions were not? To clear, to clear for the exam. Okay, hold on. In this one, it would be, for example, their instructions were not and you have to say what the instructions were. For example, sus instrucciones fueron de no pararse, um, oh, or person, no, by, sus instrucciones fueron de no usar calculadoras durante el examen, for example. That would be the idea here. So how would you be able to change that? Because we need to have a two infinitive uh, to make an infinitive phrase here. Mm. Can you try that again? Okay. The instruction the instruction were not um, to to um, to give copy for the exam. Okay, no? yeah. <laughs> Good, mm -hmm. excellent. Okay, so their instructions were not to give copy of the exam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, very yes. good. Excellent, Daniel. Okay, so how does this, how do these sentences, are they working for you? Do you understand them? Are they clear? I have that with the number six. Okay. I, I write, um, not drinking enough water can be harder than the people expect. Uh, not drinking enough of water. Enough water, yeah. Not drinking enough. enough of water can be harder than the people expect. Okay, yeah. Not drinking enough water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, yeah. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, It's okay not not to be no. Uh, not to be a good person. No, because I don't didn't I didn't use gerund. No. Yeah, exactly. For number six, we need to have a gerund. Uh -huh. Okay. For example, and so just be careful with this one. The meaning of of number six means it's almost like saying el no. For example, um, 
I'll give you an example in Spanish here. We have eh, el no repet so using the example we had before, el no repetir un chambre es más difícil eh, de lo que la gente espera. So el no repetir, right? So be careful with the, the connotation there when you say what you, what you want to say if, uh, in English for number six. Mm -hmm, yes. Okay. Anything else, guys, that you want to ask? Teacher. Yeah. Uh -huh, if yes. I say the instruction were not too clear this morning because they confused me. Okay. The thing about clear is that clear is an adjective. It's not it's not an infinitive. Okay? What okay. you're saying there is, uh, the instructions were not too clear. It means uh -huh. the instructions no fueron muy claras. Uh -huh. Muy claras is not an infinitive. Remember, uh, okay. an infinitive is made of a, it's, the structure is uh, f coming from a verb. Even though the function is not a verb, but it comes from a verb. Okay. 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 All right. Any other questions that you guys have? No, thank you. Okay. All right. So the other exercise I sent you, um, what we're going to do in the last few minutes of class, we're going to do those um, answers. We're going to check the answers. And we're going to see why those are the correct answers, right? So um, you guys can tell me what you think is, are the answers, and we will see why those, the, your answers are correct or why we need to change them. OK, let's see. Let's look at the first one here. OK. so. This is just uh, A, B, C, D, okay? So this is multiple choice, okay? All right, um, so the first one says, identify the infinitive or infinitive phrase in the following sentences. So the first one is, I am eager to take any, any Saturday job. I am eager. Do you guys understand what is eager? You understand that meaning? Eager? Yes. No. No? No, teacher. What's right. the meaning eager? Okay. So eager, the meaning of eager is to be uh, enthusiastic, um, excited. Okay? So that when you say I'm eager to take an, any Saturday job, it means I'm very enthusiastic to take that Saturday job. I'm excited about it. Okay? All right. Okay, so let's begin with the first one. Number one, we have three, four options. It says, uh, which part is the part that is the infinitive or infinitive phrase? I'm eager, any Saturday job, to take any Saturday job, or none of the above. And this shouldn't be too difficult because, like I said, it's only multiple choice here. Okay, so let's have... Uh, Jose. No, no, sorry, sorry, no, no. Yeah, Jose. I think Jose didn't give me an answer last time. So, Jose, number one? Number one? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Um, I don't know, teach you. Remember, the instructions, or better so the question is, or yeah, the, the question or the instruction says, identify the infinitive or infinitive phrase in the following sentence. I am eager to take any Saturday job. So what part of that <laughs> sentence is an infinitive or infinitive phrase? An infinity is to take. Uh-huh. Okay, in the infinity phrase will be to take any Saturday. 
and a Saturday job. Exactly. So the answer is letter? Letter... Letter C. Letter C. Excellent. Very good. Bravo, Jose. Very good. Okay. Good. All right. Number two now. Let's see who has not participated. Who have I not asked? There are a few people. Uh, Barbara, I think I haven't asked Barbara. Okay, go ahead, Barbara, for number two. It says, identify the infinitive okay. or infinitive phrase in the following sentence. To shell walnuts is difficult. So what's the, what is the answer? A, to shell walnuts. B, is difficult. C, shell or D, none of the above? The first one, to shell walnuts. It is in infinitive. Excellent, Barbara. Very good. Number two is to shell walnuts, and that's letter A. Very, very good. Excellent. Bravo. Got it. Okay, good. All right, Selena, can you help me with number three? It says, Identify the gerund or gerund phrases in the following sentence. Jay enjoyed Jay enjoyed mm -hmm. floating, floating on the raft. Good. The gerund phrase is floating on the on the raft. Okay, so that's letter B. Excellent. Very, very good. You got it, Selena. Bravo. Very good. Okay. Let's see who's next. We have, um, okay, I think we're going to have to repeat because I think everybody has passed, I believe. Ceci, did you give an answer? Yeah. Yes. Uh, the four. Four. Okay. Yeah. Is, with number four. Uh, Jerome phrase is uh, reading the mug butterfly. Good, sorry. Um, Ceci, could you do me a big favor? Could you read the whole exercise number four? Read the whole thing. Yes. Is the, the phrase, the Jerome phrase. Yeah. Jerome phrase is letter, letter A. It's uh, reading the mug butterfly okay good that you're right you're actually you're you're absolutely right could you read everything for me though not just give me the answer could you start with identify the jaron can you start from there yes so so it says yes. you start reading read everything si lo puede leer todo ah uh, sorry. It's okay. No uh, reading, reading the mad butterfly upsets Becky's stomach. Okay, good. All right, and the answer is? The answer is letter A. Is reading the mad butterfly. Good, excellent. Now, just be careful the pronunciation is is Riding, riding, right? Riding. Uh huh. Good. Okay. Riding. Reading is the leer, right? The, okay. So reading. So this one is ride, riding. Okay. And it's okay. butterfly, ba, butterfly. Butterfly. Mm -hmm. Good. Butterfly. Excellent. All right. Very good. Daniel, help me with number five. Could you read the whole thing? Uh, I, I'm not sure, teacher. I tried to, <laughs> that fight is hard for me. No worries. I, no worries. I'm not sure. I'm here for it. <laughs> I guess it's object, I, I, I think it's B, object of verb. Okay. But I'm not sure. <laughs> Good. But Daniel, do me a favor. Read the whole, the, the whole exercise number five. Sorry. Sure. Yes, sure. The answer? Choose, choose the answer that tells how the capitalized phrase is used. Mr. Wells assigned reading two chapters. 
Okay, good. All right. I so guess we want to find is the letter B, object of verb. And Daniel, guess what? You're absolutely right. Very good. Because if you notice, Mr. Wells is a subject, right? Assigned is the verb. And the we verb. want to know what he assigned. So to say what he assigned, we're going to use this. We're going to say the object. What is the thing that he assigned? He assigned reading, but not just reading. Reading. Reading two chapters. Good. So there you go, Daniel. You got it. Excellent, guys. All right, bravo. Okay. All right, let's go on to number six, exercise number six. And for this one, we're going to be hearing, let's see, um, let's have Carmen. Carmen, can you read letter six for me? I'm sorry, number six for me? Yes. Choose the answer that correctly describes the the capitalist word or phrase in the following sentences. Cheating never gets never gets you anywhere. Um, I'm not sure, but but I. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cheating, cheating, cheating. Ah, uh, letter A, teacher. I'm not sure. Okay. Letter A, Jerome as a subject. And guess what, Carmen? You're absolutely right. Yes. In this case, okay. it's just a gerund. If you notice, yes. the verb is gets. Following. Right? Gets. That's the verb. Okay. Never uh -huh. is an adverb, right? Uh -huh. So yes, this is just one word. It's not a phrase. It's a word. It's mm -hmm. one word, and that the word is a gerund, and the gerund is acting like mm -hmm. a subject at the beginning of the sentence. So yes, Carmen, you're absolutely right. Very good. Very very good. Okay, Thank Veronica, you. number seven for. Could you read it for me? Yes, and um, in the following sentence, breaking the light barrier is simply not possible. The German phrase is acting as I'm not sure, teacher. It's okay. Mm. Go ahead and try it. Breaking the light barrier. Mm. Subject, perhaps. So letter A. And yes, Veronica, you are right. Very good. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Why? If you notice, <laughs> breaking you. the light barrier is at the beginning of the sentence. We always start the sentence mm -hmm. with a subject, not an adjective, right? And so, and here is our verb. The verb is is, right? So all of this becomes our subject, which is great. Excellent. Okay, next. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. I, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me how do you pronounce the bar barrier, barrier? I'm barrier. This is barrier. Barrier. Yeah. This word is barrier. barrier. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, number eight, um, Grace. In the following sentence, they have closed the cafeteria to repair a broken steam table. The infinitive phrase is acting as an... Um, let me see. Mm. I'm not sure, but could be B has an object. Mm. 
because a subject is not um, Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's not a yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, because like I, I see that it's like uh, telling me um, something about the the cafeteria, why they, they close them. Good. It. You're right, Grace. It's telling us why. Why something happens. When you are when you are saying why an action happens, why there's an action that's happening here, then you are describing an a verb, right? You're in this case you're mm -hmm. describing the um, you or you're giving information about the action close, right? You're saying why they closed. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, what were? Yes. What the, is the function, or what do you call when we are giving information about a verb? When we give more information about a verb, what do you call that? An adjective. Nope. On an adverb. It's an adverb. That's right. When we give information about a verb, an action, it's called an adverb. So in this case, the to infinitive is acting as an adverb. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, no? Yes. Yes? Yes, makes sense. Don't be shy of asking questions, guys. I want to make sure that everybody understands why that's an adverb. So just to make sure that you understand, or I'll repeat myself, this is an adverb because this is giving me information about, about the, the verb close, why they closed it. Why did they close it? Because they wanted to repair a broken steam table. That's the reason. So it's giving me information about the, ad, about the verb, and that's why it's an adverb. Okay. Let's do quickly the last two. Um, uh, let's see, Barbara. Can you do number nine for me? Okay. In the following sentence, passing this quiz with a good grade will make me happy. The German phrase is acting as a... Um, uh, Subject. Subject. Uh huh. feliz. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Very good. Uh, because if you notice here, we have would make, and that's the verb, right? So what comes before the verb is a subject. So yeah, very good. We have the subject um, at the beginning of the sentence, right? So that's fine. Excellent. Any questions, Barbara? Mm, no. No? Okay. No. All right. Okay. Jose, can you do the last one for me? Number 10? Okay. In the following sentence, she bought a desk to put her laptop on. The infinity play is acting as. I think it's the letter D. As an adverb? It's an adverb. I see. I guess. Okay. All right. Um, remember, for it to be an adverb, it has to be describing a, an action, a verb, or it has to be um, giving more information about an adjective. In this case, it's giving me information about the desk. Okay. What? So it's describing the desk. Uh -huh. yeah. So, and the desk is a noun, right? An object. It's an object, exactly. Uh -huh. and, it's an, and objects are nouns, right? So, what word do we use when we want to give more information about an object? An adverb. Not an adverb. Because you add information. Jose, what word do we use? For example, if I want to say, 
if I want to describe a person, I can say um, a tall man. I'm describing the man, right? And I'm saying tall. An adjective. What was that, Jose? An adjective. Yes, very good. An adjective. adjective. Exactly. Because it's telling me what kind of desk. It's telling me what the desk is for, right? It's not, she bought a desk, mm -hmm. but what desk, what, 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 what is the function of the desk? It's to put her laptop on. That's the function of the desk, right? So it's giving me information about the noun and that makes it an adjective. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Teacher. Yes. The, an the answer is adjective. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. This would be, it would be the adjective, letter C. Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions, guys? No. Is this clear? Well, Almost yes. clear, teacher. Pardon? <laughs> Almost clear. Almost clear. Because in adjective and adverse, yes. Because in adjective and adverb, I have a, a little doubt. I'm not sure, but I guess I, I, I come Adverbs and adjectives. Okay, just remember, adjectives give information about nouns. Okay, so nouns can be people, animals, places, or objects, or, or things, right? Like, I don't know, cell phone. Um, house, car, park, sorry, park okay. is a place, uh, but objects, right? Like um, clothes. And adverbs give information about actions. Okay, they tell us like, um, mm, uh, they, okay. they give us information okay. about an action, a verb, or they can give us information about another, uh, or an ad adjective. Like for example, a, a very tall man. Very is giving me information about tall and tall is an adjective. It's telling me how tall he is. He's very tall, okay? So just remember that. Yes. Adverbs, sorry, adjectives, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, adverbs give information about verbs and adjectives and Adjectives give information about nouns. Okay. okay. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions you guys have? Okay. Do you guys feel now prepared to work on the platform with that with that um, topic? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Excellent. All right. So work on that this weekend. And uh, next week, we're going to be talking about the next topic here uh, on Monday. And to, um, to start you on the topic, I will be sending you some exercises as well so that you can start brainstorming. And then we will be a little bit more prepared for Monday's class. OK? OK. okay. All right. All right, guys. Mm. Good to see you mm. again. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And mm. well. Uh, have fun, uh, relax, and uh, we'll see each other on Monday. Thank you. You're Thank you. Thank you very much. much. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, guys. Take care.